It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And as promised, it is the grand reveal of Camille's garden brought to you by our wonderful client, Michael. He took, took him months, but he knocked this side garden out all by himself. Did this about a year ago, was inspired by the coral reef and look at the masterpiece that he has created back here. It is insanely beautiful. So first things first, look at this incredible privacy screen fencing that he installed. And then they've got the beautiful pots up top on the pillars with Portolacaria minima. He's got framed movie sayings. This one says there's no place like home little Athona Capensis there. Here's Camille. The garden was named for her. He thought that this piece of flagstone was a lady's profile. He wasn't wrong. So he named her. Michael's the one that gave me the idea to work with flagstone on their end in lieu of boulders sometimes. And he's done such a beautiful job in this narrow space of creating shelves by standing the flagstones up. Look at this Ramosissima. I'm just gonna go through here slowly so you can really take it in. Mermaid's tail. Just his use of texture, his mastery of texture. Unsurpassed. A vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Moving in. He's edited about three times because that's how you learn. He planted some things that got too big, you know, or didn't like it. But that, you know, no shame in that game. Beautiful little spiller in that pot and another porty up here. Forties all the way down. In the afternoon, this garden gets dappled sun, which is very nice. I hope that you're able to really take this in. Look at that. He's got some chamois beige down here with some fire glass chunks. Look at the detail. I mean, look at these little pieces of flagstone that he used as a retainer. Look at that beautiful Ming thing. Oh my goodness. Moving on down. all of his special aloes. And then here is a garden dedicated to purple. All of his beautiful purple things nestled in a bed of creva with purple fire glass. We'll always have Paris. these little simps. Sempravivum cannot grow this plant to save my life, but he seems to be having luck with it. <sighs> I love the use of the terracotta pots. These little cubes, he made these, each one from his bathroom tiles, glued them on to the squares. Isn't <laughs> that so stinking? clever and don't they look so good so worth it rainbow burst that's going to be spectacular when it goes off little variegated aloe after all tomorrow is another day indeed Keep 
going every square inch thoughtfully designed there's nowhere in this little garden while you go oh well he just gave up he didn't he saw it through all the way to the end look at this rubble how this goes kind of uphill see that and then the eyes drawn up these gorgeous pots and plants and finally if you got a little keeper of the space look at those flagstones behind her how cool is that let me show you from this direction and look at how he's got benches for enjoyment also of course you can see the garden through all the windows of the house and look at this little bench here with all the little specialty cactus oh god it's so cute the benches and pillows This was just a hot mess of half-dead fruit trees, stone fruit trees in here. It was just your typical side yard. Ugh, it was so ugly. And now it is a literal and absolute work of art. We've got to get this garden on some tours. Wow, another bench. This is Camille's garden. This Crassula Argentia sunset is glowing. And he was so mindful of his microclimates too. You know, this is a sunny corner, so he planted things appropriately. He's probably got 20, 30 microclimates in here and he's handled them beautifully. And, and where he made a mistake, he edited. And that's what we do, isn't it? So I hope you have enjoyed this tour of Camille's garden. It is just exceptional and I was happy to share it with you. And I'm so thankful to Michael and Cesar for allowing us to see it. They are lovely, generous people who I truly appreciate. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.